Welcome back to this show, channel, show, channel, show, 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 channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my monster drawings. This is the Bioconstructs. Fully organic creatures. Made of flesh, bone, and other stuff. The first one is Tred Tredge. The uh, tentacled slurper. That's 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 him. That's the that's the guy. Uh so the weapons he usually uses is you know, the tentacles on his head strangle things. He has an energy absorbing tail and insect like pinchers to chop up food or pincers rather. Skoliox, the worm of skulls. That's that's him, all right. Isn't that beautiful? Then we got Grox, the swamp dweller. Look at that! Look at that guy. <laughs> then we got arthropods. Scorpiox, the scorpion beast. There he is. Crab uh, Crabaturianus. The Crab Man. I'm a Crab Man! Ah! Slugaslorp. A yeah, slightly grotesque slug creature. There he is. In all of his glory and gory and spadorian. Scopacolory. Vampiric. Whaleena. The whale vampire. So basically, it has a blood filter. That's nice. Bivalvile. So it, it drains blood similar to that of an Iron Maiden. You know those torture devices where somebody's left in there in a whole bunch of spikes just to bleed out? Basically, what it does, except it drinks it. Mortaray. It's a stingray, but a vampire. Isn't that cute? <laughs> no, it isn't. Botanical. If you don't know what that means, it's basically plants. Yes, plant. This is pitcher death, the monstrous pitcher plant. This is his face right here. This is his mouth. Gar Gagro flower. It's a stink-filled flower. You know those, uh, those thing- those flowers in the Amazon that stink like rotting corpses? I made one of that. That's what it looks like. Look at that beautiful face. Miss Venus, the bi botanical succubus. It's a Venus flytrap. You probably- you probably end up knowing what happens. You get eaten. You get eaten, mate. Spectrosaurs. Goopersaur, the ectoplasmic dino. That kind of just looks like a diseased slimer. <laughs> Zaporosaur, the electrical dino. That's what he looks like. Shadosaur, the darkness dino. Just to let you know, the reason why these things look so weird is because they're not dinosaurs that we know of. The backstories between these things is that they, they were dinosaurs that were found but never, like, never really discovered yet. So nobody really knows, not even scientists know exactly what their names are, but they've been experimented on for so long they become specters of what they once were, but with, like, certain elemental powers. Jokers! Like clowns! Honker Storby! He's the honking joker. That's a beautiful- oh, look at that funny boy. <laughs> then we got Laughapede. This is based on a movie that I hate with a fiery passion. You can probably guess what movie it is judging by the way this thing looks. 
I don't know why I decided to draw this thing despite the fact it's based on a, on a movie that I'd never want to see ever again. Oh, Flataloon, the gaseous joker. I, he's actually one of my favorite designs due to the fact that I know how he, uh, he works. He like spreads gas everywhere, it's like laughing gas. Except it causes hallucinations, he's just a weird little doo-doo. Unidentified! Skin... Skin skeever. I based this thing off of a whole bunch of different aliens. The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, Day of the Triffids. That one about that, that brain with the little antennae. Uh, what else? Uh, the Thing, because of his spider legs and he, that he's just a head. And, uh... I don't remember what the name of the movie was, but I remember the name of the aliens. Like, Moon... Moon... Moona... No, Lu Luna Mutants, I think, is what they were. They're like these big-headed mutant aliens that, that would, like... I don't know, turn people into other ones? I don't know. The Beast with Seven Eyes! It's not exactly my best design, but it's certainly something. This is also one of my favorites. Muzu the Angel. I based it off of bib like angels based off of their biblical biblical descriptions. You know, just a bunch of eyes with wings. Except I took it to a new extreme because well, first of all, it's holding a ball of light. It has um bird claw like bird arms, but human hands. It's a very strange it's a very strange thingy doohickey. But it's one of my favorite designs. Hellbirds. Effigy bird. Or effigy. I don't know how the heck you're supposed to pronounce it. But it's a molten clay stitched together bird monster that's being set on fire constantly. Warbird. I like. I, I not only like his design, but the fact that there is a war going on beneath him, which means that these things are causing these. Pestilence bird. So what I like about this one is that it's the size, it's like gross, rotten looking appearance, and the fact that its mouth can extend like a cave and it releases swarms of bugs and like toxic smog. And even it's be it's like jaw right here, it has like this toxic goop coming off of it, and it's causing everyone to become deathly ill, obviously, because that's what pestilence is, being deathly ill. Biomecha! I only have one! Electro eyes! I could have come up with a better biomechanical design, but I decided to be really lazy and do this because I was in a hurry, because I needed to go to sleep, because I'm I'm not re I'm not willing to lose sleep. <laughs> also, cause I was running out of paper, and these last ones are just one designs. Uh, parastores, as in parasites. Testaborp. He's a tapeworm. He's spewing this like. He's spewing acid out, out of all his face holes. And his arms are little flappy flappawoonies. Like a little glove, but you're just flapping it around. That's basically what his hands look like. Jer